everybody, my name's Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something fun. I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff I bought. I mean, actually, I don't even know if it's that fun. It's fun for me because I get to wear all this stuff. And I guess it's kind of fun for you because you get to find out about all this stuff. But for me to show you it, I need to like bring it in, right? So I got this cart over here. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna talk about all these items today because I said I wasn't gonna spend money in 2021, and then this happened. <laughs> Let's talk about what we got. We're gonna go through each item, and I'm gonna show you it styled in a look as I usually do. Before we get into that, links below to everything we talk about today, whether it's on this rack or something I wear with an item on this rack, you can find a link to it down below. If you like this type of content, let me know by liking this video. And also, if you really like this content, click subscribe because it just, it just helps, you know? It just makes me feel good when those numbers go up. Let's jump right into it. So the first piece we're gonna talk about, many of you have seen me wear time and time again on Instagram because I'm obsessed with it. It is this like neon, or maybe it's a nice chartreuse colored blazer. This is from Illiqui and like, just look at that color. It's fabulous. And I did buy this Two sizes too big because I wanted like oversize because that's what's in right now and this was definitely cut to be like fitted and I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not 2010, this is 2021 and our clothes are purposely too big. It is really a thing right now, I don't get that. I don't get why people are constantly wearing clothes too big for them, but they are. So I just wanted to be cool and fit in. So I went all out in the green theme for this one. Obviously I paired this blazer with this fun tee from Target. I think it's from Target. And this velvet skirt, which is definitely for Christmas, but I was like, no, this looks amazing. And I'm making all of you green with envy. <laughs> so this next item you're gonna see, uh, it still has the tags on it because I don't know if I should keep it because I'm having like a crisis, a crisis of conscience. I think I said that right because it's very expensive. This is a $900 sweatshirt and I feel like a chump for buying it. But at the same time, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Fendi and it's a 3X. I didn't know Fendi made plus size. Surprise, they do. And it's not just a sweatshirt. It's actually got some nice design to it with these side ties. But is it a, is it a $900 sweatshirt? I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. You guys gotta let me know it in the comments if I should keep it or not because I'm constantly debating this one. I literally have the box in the other room because I can't decide whether I should keep it. It also has some fun, interesting take on shoulders, which they're kind of like slightly puffy, which I like. It is very well constructed, but it is also just a sweatshirt and I did pay $900 for it. So it feels, it feels a little ridiculous, but let me know what you think down below. Yeah, this is gonna go back. <laughs> what was I thinking? Next up, this is another thing I did not need, but then bought anyway. I mean, have you ever seen a dress that is more me? This is from a brand called Selkie, and Selkie is like the it girl cool brand right now. So of course, my never ending quest to be cool led me to purchase this dress. Actually, I purchased it because it's freaking rainbow sorbet in a dress and that's amazing. Um, and also big sleeves. We've talked about this before. The bigger the sleeve, the happier my soul. So we got some nice organza sleeves, nice layering. From what I've heard, this is a 22 and this fits me really well. Not uncomfortable at all, not tight at all. But I have heard if you have a bigger chest that that actually is probably going to be too small. So if you are large, whoa. <laughs> if you are a large chested, definitely order a size up, but Selkie's dresses are magical. We actually have another piece from Selkie in this haul because when I like something, I tend to invest in it. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I will say it's got multiple layers here too, which is really great. So it's really well made, well constructed. <laughs> and it's also rainbow sorbet in a dress. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with this dress, obsessed with it. I am a cotton candy dream and I am here for it. Uh, the only thing I really did is put on some shoes. These are like a million years old from Just Fab, but it doesn't matter because this dress is a dream. 
This dress I got off ASOS, and you're like, oh, Anna, it's just a black t-shirt dress, right? Nope, because being kind is cool. I feel like one of those like 1980s infomercials, and I'm like the soccer mom that like rolls up in her minivan, and she's like, Charlie, get in. Being kind is cool. But it is, it is really cool. This is amazing. I just think it's fun, and it's basically pajamas, but I put some shorts underneath it, and bam, it's an outfit. Like, what's not to love? I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's a huge t-shirt. Like, look at this. I, I'm pretty sure I could smuggle some hams in there with me. Or like, if I need to go to the movie theater, I'd need to like saddle bag some snacks onto my thighs. I got room. So this is an ideal snack hiding dress as well. So, I mean, there's multi-purpose here, guys. And if I get cold, it can also be a blanket. So, you know, really looking for clothes that can go above and beyond just being worn. I think this might be the only truly oversized plus size thing I've ever bought in my life. So I'm like getting used to it. It feels a little foreign to me, but to give it a little bit more life, I just added this beanie that I don't know where I got it from. I've had it for like ever. And these sneakers, which are Air Force Ones that were custom painted. And I have my initials on them something. There, they have them there. <laughs> and I just like that it gives it like, I didn't even try, but secretly I did. I did try very hard. Okay, so when people ask me to describe my aesthetic, I've recently adopted this perspective of adult toddler. I feel like it really accurately describes how I see my personal style, which means if it's available in like a 2T or a 3T for girls, I probably also want to wear it. And I think the next two pieces, and I'm gonna show them together because they deserve to be worn together, really, really fit that, that mantra. And this is from H&M. It is like an Easter egg print plaid shirt and a bright lavender pant. And this together is very toddler-esque, which makes me happy. But I feel like, like if you threw a vest on with it, suddenly it's adult. Like, yeah, I'm 90% toddler, but I'm 10% business. So yeah, that's why I bought those. They're also stretchy. The pants are nice and stretchy, so comfy. This is Babysitter's Club realness on the next level. Like, I am adult toddlering in a way that makes me feel like I would be safe to watch your children. I just took the outfit that I showed you already through a denim vest because we always trust someone with a denim vest, especially when their pins show you exactly what you need to know about them. And then some white Tevas, because I love a sensible shoe. So this shirt is loud, like me, and what I like about it is it's got every color in the rainbow with it, so you can pretty much put it with anything, um, including other prints, because <laughs> why stop at one? Prints deserve to be with their own kind. Uh, I like this because it is a nice, like, heavier material, and I love Big Bud Press because they are one of those brands that are completely ethical and also still weird. I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of feel like, and maybe you know this too, where you're shopping online and it's like, as soon as you see the word like ethically sourced, you go, oh, that's gonna be some brown shades and like oversized tank dresses. Cause that's all I seem to be able to find in ethically sourced brands. And it makes me like sad inside. And Big Bug Press was like the first brand to show me that like ethically made clothing can still be really freaking cool. So this is a great example of that. I call this my Dolly Parton look because Dolly Parton is a believer that more is more. And this is definitely a lot. Um, I took the shirt and I paired it with a striped rainbow skirt because who doesn't love color? And then this jacket, which I absolutely love from Ren and Glory. It's hand painted to, <laughs> it's hand painted to say, it says you matter. <laughs> I forgot. Um, and then just some flats that I got from ASOS. And while we're on the print train and the toddler train, Let's talk about another pair of pants that are toddler inspired. These are a floral print jogger. These are also from Iloqui, like the blazer. In fact, the blazer would probably look real good with this. These are just super comfortable and my ideal aesthetic. I don't have anything else to say about them. I also love at the bottom that they have this elastic. Like, you know, in case I drop something down my pants, that's not gonna fall out because the elastic's gonna hold it in. So now I could just, with freedom just shoves stuff down my pants and be like, you know what, that's staying with me. I've never had that need before, but I like to be prepared. I like to be prepared with my pants. So this look is just, it's just like comfy, you know? It's an oversized sweater from American Eagle. 
obviously my toddler pants, Rothy's flats, as always at this point. And then this headband I got from Amazon, they come in packs of two, and they're just so fun. They make, make my hair look nice when it actually looks like doo-doo. So there you go. <laughs> So clearly my style is going in a direction right now, and that is more buttons, more fun. This is from a brand called Ray. This is a little wrinkly. I will iron it before I try it on. I love this shirt. I've worn it like three or four times and I just got it. It is on the pricier side, but the construction is amazing. I love that it's oversized. If you've got big arms, you will have no struggle because these sleeves are freeing for them chunky arms. Like, you're not gonna get stuck in there. And as a person who has had their arms stuck in a tiny sleeve one too many times, I'm very grateful that that fear is removed when wearing this shirt. I do notice here a little bit sometimes that there's a little pulling. So I do tend to reinforce this with a safety pin. I think it's just because the way my body is shaped, my bottom's half, you know, it's, it's, it's a thick, I'm a thickums. And so my butt is big and it pulls in a weird way on the shirt, which tends to cause a little gaping at places where the shirt's not actually big. So I just pin it. Um, there is matching pants for this, which I am like very heavily considering buying because like who doesn't want to be in a yellow and white check dream suit? Like that is the leisure suit of the leisure suits of like the 90s. I need to get some like van shoes and like a Von Dutch hat. And maybe, maybe I can take it into the 2021s and also add one of those like shoulder fanny packs and just look like a hot mess of, of trends from the past, which will then be the trend of the future. I am seeing it. I am seeing it so much. So <laughs> you were like, no girl. No girl, but in my heart, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> now, if you watched my last video, you've already seen this look cause I wore it in that one, but I just love it. I wear, this is how I wear it. So I figured I would just show you how I've been wearing it pretty much all the time. I'm gonna point out that these pants are the Brooklyn pants by Athleta and they are the best like work slash Sweatpants, they're like both, it's amazing. These shoes are Doc Martens and sadly, I got them two years ago. I've never seen anything like them come back in stock and it makes me so sad because if they ever did, I would buy all of them, literally all of them. Our next piece is this super cool skirt from Anthropology. Now the reason I'm gonna take this off this hanger is because it has the coolest little detail at the waist which is like a lace up. Um, it's very like Renaissance Fair inspired-ish like I would wear this and drink like a stein of beer and then also like watch a moderately attractive man because I don't think I would have like the hottest man. I would have like a moderately attractive man fight for my honor on a steed with like one of those long poles where they like jab in somebody else's face. Do you know what I'm talking about? Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. I also love this color. God bless a good mustard yellow. It just looks so good on me. Like I'm gonna be real here. Moment of vanity, mustard yellow. It's my friend on camera so that's why I bought it. <laughs> so with this skirt, I paired like my favorite t-shirt. You've probably seen me in this a million times. It's from Sense of Style where I get all of my t-shirts and I just love it because it's a modern print. And then I threw this thrifted blazer over it because who doesn't love a little thrift moment? And the shoes are Rothy's again because I'm a sucker. It's got that like, I work in an expensive tech company, but like we have to dress business, but also not too businessy because we're supposed to be the future. So it's this weird like mix of like what a skater would wear and what a business professional would wear. And it's like, bam, and then you get this. So that is all of the items that we have here in our collective hall. I, there's no rhyme or reason to anything I picked out for this haul if you didn't figure it out, other than these are the real things that I've purchased and I'm wearing right now. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you wanna just tell me that you think I'm pretty, you can do that down in the comment box. If you like me, if you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.